Hello and welcome to Orcus 365. March is here and I wanted to show you this beautiful Tesla that came home with me from Key West. Now it did not have an ID. It was actually rescued off of a very big tree that had to be cut down and there was about four pieces for sale and when I saw her in the showroom I didn't know she was for sale so I took a risk and I gave her some love because that blue lip right there is everything and uh, she was on a tree so the roots are unruly so I'm gonna figure out what to do with her but I think I can help her thrive I'm gonna walk back there and show you what's in bloom so before I walk into my orchid pergola I wanted to show you this encyclia spike I cannot wait to see them when they get so big like that I get nervous <laughs> and the plant is over here <laughs> and she's definitely looking for the light Here's the ID. She's a, a real Cladens. And then one of my very, very favorites that is very special in my collection because my son picked it out for me when he was little as a teeny tiny baby. Here's the ID. And because I'm scared to touch her, she's leaning over and in bloom. Magical magical it's like a light yellow then goes white then pink and that lip is to die for definitely one of my most prized Tourette Vandas only because it has major sentimental value it's very important to me and I think this would probably be a Kiki coming out and another one down there at the base eventually I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with her I usually don't touch them if they're happy. Oh, hope you can hear me fine. That bird has a lot to say. Um, now over here, you guys, I'm so excited because this is the first bloom ever of my Schilleriana. Are you ready? I'm not disappointed, honestly, because she's a small plant. I am so happy. Once you find a way to make this little diva happy, you do not touch her just let her be <laughs> when I first got her she was very small I got her from Yoshi from work is by the lake and she did not like that I wanted to mount her eventually she got over it she established herself the roots are going wild on that beautiful mount from Natalia from just one more orchid and what can I say I could stay here all day looking at her She's moving, so I'm trying to make sure you can see it. Here I have my little wild mini fowls that are also mounted. They're just so gorgeous. I can never get enough. The variety of phalaenopsis are just... Mimi's still doing her thing. I feel like she's always blooming. Smells delicious in here. Mimi Palmer and this is starting to happen another one of my oldest orchids in my collection green golf yeah here it is golf green hair pig and it's happening have to figure out i'm gonna turn this way And what do we have here? The one that you saw in Nelson's video. My beautiful, beautiful orange treat. I hope one day I can enter her for judging. She makes me so happy. And the fact that I've had her since she was teeny tiny. This is my indigo blue. It's black comet. It's a Kashleata, AKA <laughs> my jellyfish orchid. We have a lot of buds, so maybe by the end of the month, maybe next month, you'll see those. 
my barefoot mailman rainbow that I bought bare root from Tam Miami. And look at this, it just opened and this one's already on the way out in the bottom. So this is not gonna last very long. So I'm so glad that I'm showing them to you now. When I got her, she was bare root, didn't have much root. So I put a kelp of fertilizer weekly until it established for maybe three weeks. And then I left her alone and boom. This one's also very special. It opened last week. It's probably on the way out. This is the one that my son picked out for me to surprise me when I was working at Tam Miami. And it's so pretty, isn't it? I don't, I didn't get a fragrance when it first opened, but um, I read that it's a native from Trinidad and it's one flower usually like that but gosh it does not disappoint and i could not have picked a better pot for it i just want to want you to get a chance to take this one in because those flares oh man amazing this is a little division from my mom's mobile that i don't have an id for i did see a similar one when i went to key west but there's a lot of them and even though it's so little, got a good amount of flowers. Such a soft, sweet, subtle pink. And mine just opened like last week, but these don't last as long. Sorry, guys. Roots in the way. <laughs> this is the one that I took a picture of standing up with it. I have her suspended with wires on the terracotta pot that she's been in all her life because I'm scared of touching it <laughs> and man now this one I got a few years ago too and there's mixed reviews on what it could be I made her the closest that I have found I made her an ID Don Marie and she has more flowers out back there. I love the little fluffy canes that it has and the flowers are just very pretty. Ooh, who do we have there? My dendrobium. And the thoglossum is starting to open. It has like three of these, look. I just discovered it now doing this video. So on the next one, You'll see all those spikes. Oops, ran into a spike here. <laughs> and they're still opening, guys. These last for forever. It's a beautiful one that you saw in the last video. My mini mark. And then I have a variegated fowl that took a hard hit with the cold because I forgot. I'm going to be honest. But she's spiking. And then I have my Siglia Randy Alba. Hopefully the spike makes it because critters love getting into those spikes. Since I have a lot of my fowls mounted back there, it's a little difficult to show you, but they are definitely doing their thing and they look happy. I'm going to try to see how I can show you. I have the white ones. I have one spike this way. And I have one spike facing the complete opposite way, but they are happy and thriving on these beautiful little hammock mounds from Orchid Pottery, Marsha. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And they are so happy there. I mean, soon you won't even be able to see it, but <laughs> see all the roots going crazy there? Love it. They are so happy. This one reminds me of a sunset. And these are just beautiful. None of these came with IDs. Sorry for that. We're gonna go. There's a lot of wildlife action going on back here. You're gonna hear all kinds of little squeals and squeaks. I have another sweet surprise back here. I did a video showing you guys how to use my Vanda sleeves, remember? With this one that I got bare root, which is a coelastis blue and she's starting to open and i can't believe i got flowers so fast and i could not have picked a better color for it so we have one little flower and the rest will open soon i'll share pictures 
And how delicate and adorable are they? I'm gonna put my hand so you can see how tiny they are. But perfect. I'm so happy. Apparently, you give them all the love and they sure feel it, huh? So, these are gonna get watered real soon. Don't have a lot blooming here because these are starting to bloom. Sorry for the noise. What a weird one, huh? Lenopsis. I'm not even going to try to read the rest of that. I'll just put it there because you guys are going to laugh at me. I like to practice the pronunciation before I even try that. So it will look even cuter when they're all open. And I am so, so proud of my dendrobium species here. Canaliculatum. I tried my best. There's four spikes, you guys. They're still opening and they're super hard to record or photograph, but look how cute these itty bitty dendrobiums are. It's that little spray of purple. I don't even know. This is so much going on with this little delicate flower that I adore. So pretty when all those spikes are open. I don't know if I picked a basket that's too small for her. She's leaning towards the light. I started moving things that were here because as we change seasons, the newer orchids, I had to find a new spot for them because they were being affected by the high level of light here. So I started moving them, but apparently she's missing the light because the spikes are doing the lean way over there. So we'll see if I move her. Let's go back down here to this one. And doesn't even look like an orchid flower, right? <laughs> so, so strange. It's like an orchid flower that's just a lip. That's to me. They're like little lips. That's what drew me to them. Um, I have my brown splash also spiking up, and that's such a lovely dendrobium. One little spike on there, and on one of my hive panels I have these buds coming in I had to move her because the Sun was getting her too too much have some roots crawling on there and this one's gonna be Ethel's paradise Hawaii I have my little succulent balcony here with these beautiful concrete works of art from Torius Craft Garden on Instagram. I got the little gnomes and the little daisy paw for my mini baby succulents. This one's called bear paw. Could it get any cuter? Look at these little paws, guys. And it, they're soft when you touch them. So I put all my little seedling succulents on her beautiful in her beautiful pots. Don't have to worry about them falling over here. That's why they're all here, <laughs> nice and sturdy. This was in one of the pots that I made one season for spring. This is my lovely garden kitty from Maria. Look how happy he is. That's my little succulent balcony here. I'm going to I'm going to try to get some some more sun vandas and put them all around. Have one over there, one over there. Have a pot waiting to be done. So hopefully in the redlands I'll be able to snag some of those sun vandas up and trying to see if I'm forgetting anything. I know I have inside the seedling house, I have a little twinkle blooming, full bloom, but I think I already showed it to you. So I cannot wait to show you the rest of the blooms that are left to go. I hope that you enjoyed this little garden walk and talk in the month of March. I hope that you all stay safe and please remember to be kind. Thank you again for joining me. Don't forget to hit that like button. Take care. Be kind. Bye.